Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. Um, I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas, not a real big canvas, but it's nice to work with a smaller canvas once in a while. What I'm going to do is just a dirty pour um, with the cloud mix, just to see what effects I get today. Let's go over my paints. My base coat will be 50% uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and then 50% Easy Care Satin Enamel. Let me show you that. And that's what I'm hoping will give me the cloudy effect with, with this satin enamel. And the rest of my paints are Blick, Bright Red, and Blick, Violet. And let's see what we have here. Modern Masters Phoenician Blue. I just love that, that blue color from Modern Masters. Again, I have a Modern Masters Teal. And I'm learning to really love this color too. And I have Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents. Just they're silver. And the last paint I have I call Mysterious. It's uh, a color that I made up with uh, four different paints. And I got this recipe from Gail Burston of Life and Splatters, if you ever want to find her mysterious recipe. And uh, my pouring medium today is seven parts of the mix to one part paint. And I did thin hmm, quite a bit with water. Let me show you the consistency. It's not... It's not really like water. It, it does have a little bit of trace to it. No silicone added today. So what I'm gonna do is um, turn the camera off. I'm gonna put my base coat down. I'm gonna fill my one cup and then I'm gonna bring you back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down of my Artist Loft Flow acrylic white and my uh, easy care enamel and what I'm going to do is lay a puddle down here and just got my cup filled here quite a full cup I'm not even sure I'll pour all the paint on this canvas but I'm just going to do a dirty cup and just pour it on And I think that's all the paint I'm going to use. I'm just going to let it sit there a minute. And I will torch it before I tip it. And I am hoping to keep some of that red in there. I love that red the purple combination and that Venetian blue, so pretty. So let's just do some tipping here. First of all, I am going to add more paint around the edge here. Almost forgot that. Just to help that paint move a little bit. Okay, now we can do some tipping. And I am trying to get my paint to move over that white paint, my puddle paint there that I laid down. Because that's what's going to help give me that cloudy look or get some cells. And I really don't mind leaving some negative space here today. Bringing it back to the center. Just going to have a look at it here. I 
I think I'm going to just pour a little bit of paint in this area. I think it's too plain. So let's just give it a little pour here and do some more tipping. going to give it a little bit of a torch here. Let's do some more tipping here. And I can go over this edge over here. I was looking at it and I think I will. And I'm going to bring that back. Good to go this way. Unfortunately, I'll, I'm going to lose some of that purple or all the purple, but. And then bring it back. Take a look at it. I think I will tip it this way. And I may even tip off some of that paint I just added and bring it back. Just stretching out the mix because the more I, I found that I stretch the mix out, the nicer the effects. Okay, I'm going to stretch down here and I'm going to lose a lot of that down there. I'm just, I'm not happy with that. I have a lot of paint on this canvas so I can't afford to do that. I think the longer that you, you've been painting, the more comfortable you get with your stretching of paint. And you can kind of target where you want your paint to go. Okay, and I am going to uh, tip down on this corner here. I think I will take off that negative space. Tip it back a little bit. And I hope that you are seeing most of this tipping going on here. And I think I'm going to um, just add a little bit of paint down here to help that Paint go over the corner, or I may even leave that. We'll just see here. Give it a little tip. Okay, I'm gonna bring that back. I'm really starting to like the effects I'm getting here. Beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to check my corners here. Make sure that they're covered and the sides. Ooh. 
I'm going to clean off the bottom here with my palette knife. So glad that this red came through like it did. And it didn't take the painting over, but really looks beautiful. You can see all the different layers that the mix is allowing to come up, the transparency of that. Just beautiful. And I'm gonna give it a torch now and see what we get. You can see though the white cells I'm getting up here from that enamel. Not a lot, but that's okay. More may come up as uh, I let it sit. Okay, I'm just very happy with that. And I think composition wise, it would go this way. this being the top just checking these these corners here and I think I will get you down for a close-up okay everybody here we are for our close-up and I'm just so pleased with this painting it's just it turned out beautiful here's the upper left hand corner you can see some of the white cells popping through there from that enamel. This is beautiful in here, these stripes. And this is where most of those cells did pop up, down in the left, left lower corner. I'm gonna take you over the whole painting, show you my favorite spots. Very pretty in here. You can start to see some of the transparency, the different layers coming through with the mix. Beautiful in here. Love how those red stripes turned out with the white and the blue. And in here, you can see the muted look in here. It all mixed so well. And this is the upper right-hand corner over here. Very pretty in there. Just that little spot of blue all wispy there. Another really pretty area in here. Just going down the right-hand side here. This is another really beautiful area in here. And then here's the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it if you think someone else would like to see this um, type of pour. Ring the bell, choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would be great and it would help my channel grow. And I do appreciate everyone that has watched this video, all my subscribers and watchers. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.